At Tarek, Shroud joined Sentinels, really? When? Wait. Shroud joined Match Sentinels? Found. Are you guys trolling? Not trolling, bro? Are you guys talking about Shroud Shroud or are you guys talking about a different Shroud? Oh my god, okay, okay guys, 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 I don't want to be rude, I thought it was, was my, I thought my FL Studio was playing my beat, because I forgot to close it. Oh my god. I'm back, baby. Oh, that was sick. I enjoyed that. That was good. Wait, is he actually competing or is he, is he uh, as a content creator? I could love tens. Oh my god. Damn. He actually fucking did it dirty like that. Insane. I could love tens. Jesus. He's actually farming emoji guns. Insane. Okay. He's been giving for a month. Wait, has he actually? Why is it why is the thing it's always opening the bullshit? I actually didn't watch a video. <laughs> Teammate, I'm ready. Hey, ready when you are, sir. Wait, I didn't mean to mute Sentinels. Unmute. Yeah, no. Uh, oh, the thing. Yep, I know. <laughs> <Signal up. laughs> Is that real? <laughs> um. Uh, Shroud. Shroud is gonna be our fifth going into LCQ. Yes, that is correct. Is there a timeline where I saw this happening? No fucking way. But <laughs> holy shit, it. It's not, it's not a joke, not a meme, it's actually real. Oh my god. Shroud joined Sentinels. Aww. On their Valorant roster? Is it April Aww. Fools? No heckin' way. Oh, that's so hype. I'm back, baby. Ah! Right. Yeah. That's so hype. That is freaking sick. I heckin' love tens. Okay. <laughs> he said I heckin' love tens at the end of his <laughs> announcement video. I am so hyped to see this. I mean, for starters, obviously, because I love Valorant. But because we haven't seen Shroud play competitively in like a few years, yeah? That's so exciting. What do you guys think? And Shazam and Shroud on the same team. I am so curious to know what made him want to transition back because obviously he transitioned from being a pro player to streaming and what makes him want to go from streaming to being a pro again. It just goes to say like after a while you kind of get tired of doing the same thing. Yeah, he bored and competition is really fun. But obviously even when you're a pro player at some point competition gets really tiring and stressful. So then going back the other way, you know. I think the level competition, well, he's great for it, and I'm so excited. Sentinel Shroud. Back, baby. I'm back. I know, I know they're both smiling. I know they're both smiling right now. Uh, is he just a content creator? I'm confused as what? He's, he joins the Sentinel Valent roster. Shroud is Sentinel's fifth pro player.
Fucking good. Sentinel shower chat. Holy fuck. What a time to what a time to be alive. To, to see to see this happen. Jesus Christ. I'm still shook right now. Hey, Amen. Right. Look at that mustache, by the yeah. way. When he told me, I was shook too. Really Holy Don't fuck. Know. Like, dude. Mustache for Sunday? You, know what? you just wouldn't believe that. Fall out you with mean? a mustache? I thought he was Scott. trolling. Right. I actually thought he was trolling too. Hey. I actually look like a criminal. I, I, oh, no. It's not a good. It's not a good sight. Not a good sight. But he's back. Yeah, aside, How long have you known? I mean, he told me yesterday, <laughs> so it wasn't like. It's not like I, long, I, I knew a long time, but going pro could be fun. Into crazy raccoon TSM, two squads. I'd be down to go pro in a game. Loot. Especially with other Minecraft? teams making their rotation through the train. Chad joins them. Like, you joined them too? Signed by 100 thieves. No, so no, no, no. I love this team. I love everything about their DNA. Well, no. Nah. Nah. Yeah, Mike is, um, he's, he's, uh, he's a controller. He's a he's a smoker. I think it's pretty sick. And we're living, we're living in a very... Chad, Chad, I don't think you realize we're living in a very special time, time zone. Sorry, time frame in our life, okay? Everybody, like people who watched Shroud back then in CSGO, like that was like insane. And like, I, I never thought that I would be able to like relive that, you know, era. But now it's back, you know what I mean? It's back. So now like, I'm pretty excited because it's like, holy fuck. You know, being able to see him compete again is like insane for our time, like our timeline. Because you know, like, you kind of look at Shroud and you you think like, oh, like, why would he ever compete again? Or there's like no reason he'll ever compete. But you know, even even if it's like temporarily, Chad, like I know it's not like fully, like he's he's competing for like years, you know what I mean? Or like a like a you know, but to see him even just compete in general with an actual pro team, which is like you know an insane pro team, it's pretty cool. Have you had offers to be on a pro team to get a chance in tourneys like this? We rejected them. No, nobody wants to play with me. No, like no, I'm actually like I'm actually like not capping, chat. I'm actually not capping. Ever since, ever since I um, I left Golden Guardians, I don't think anyone has ever came up to me and be like, "Hey, do you want a team?" I don't think anybody has ever came up to me. Like I I played with TJ and I played with TJ. I played with Lyric, right? But I think we like like like. It was more of like, hey, like TJ, you want to play, right? Like I asked him, and he kind of was like, yeah, mutual feelings, right? And same thing with like uh, lyric or lyric. We asked lyric if he wanted to play with us, but I don't think anyone's ever come up to me and be like, hey, you want to join our pro team or you want to make a team? Like I don't know. Like, no one's ever asked me. No one's legitimately ever asked me. So I, I, I you know. So when people ask me if I could, if I would ever go pro, I don't know. I mean, nobody wants me, man. <laughs> Fuck. The southern side over towards the east side as you I don't see what to tell you. stats coming in for your boy monsoon and it's just so great to see him back i've had org day. offers but org offers are completely different those are like those are like you want to join our org right as a content creator but never as a pro player Yes, but like you were saying, Optic Gaming are checking in with them. Up the cap to me? I'm not capping. I'm actually not lying at all. No one has ever came up to me and asked me if I wanted a team with them and go pro, go pro with them for Apex. And this is the meta. I mean, or even Valor. I mean, same thing with Valor. No one's ever asked me. Play, right? you wait, you sit in the zone, you find a scan on zone I'm just bad. I'm, I've been telling you guys this all the time. I'm bad and uh, no one believes me. Would you though? Would you like to? Uh, you know, it's hard to say because I've never I've never been asked. You know, if like someone like Hal came up to me today and be like, hey, you want to join? You want to play? You want to play together in Apex? I wouldn't know what to say to him. I wouldn't say no for sure. Sure, but I wouldn't say yes, change, like instantly. It, it would just be like a, a, a like thing that I wouldn't wouldn't know what the, like how to respond to that. You know? now with the rotation, hitting the scan Obviously, if fucking Jenny Bimbaum and fucking cocksucker side, fucking asked me to end, play, I'm, I'm gonna say no. You know what I mean? Basically inside that right now, TSM looks like they're kind of camping. 
and waiting for an opportunity to strike from a team rotating up from the north. That's going to be Cloud9. Like if I've never heard of your goddamn fucking names before, yeah, because no, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to I'm not gonna say yes. Things, you can see but if like, you know, like NRG, TSM, Cloud9, like, I have no idea what that would say. Most of most of like, it would be a very bad decision for me to go pro for like my streaming career, but I could make it work. I'm like, you know, I feel like, especially if it's Apex too, like Valorant. Wait, who is this guy? This dude, Burger, this guy is going crazy. Apex is the one game that you can be a streamer and a pro at the same time, though. If it was Valorant, I would most likely have to like really think about it because it would go from so like being a pro overall apex predator and kind of quitting street like, like grinding not being a full-time streamer really as much as the other squads they kind of just have you know it's just going to that like transition would be very uh road and they play really well very uh questionable time. for me but for apex it, like not much would change for my streaming career so i could be a pro in apex and interestingly enough, it's like TSM. If you put your mind to it, you could probably go pro. And bounce all the way I mean, I can go pro. That's not, that's the not like so the question about like it. It's like, do I want to go pro? I, just really I, feel like I have gone pro before. Have I've gone pro in Apex. Right? It's kind I was of on Golden Guardians. Who that third legend is gonna and we be. saw how but that went. <laughs> we're obviously seeing Syria play a wide variety of compositions. We're seeing I do want to go to a LAN. I do want to go to a LAN like this and compete. But so we can see exactly what the meta is. For based on where they Unfortunately, are. I think my time is up as a pro player. Team starting to move in to each I'm just other. too old now. And that's potentially off to gaming over there playing that fence line, which is a very common spot. Could be into drivers in the future. Exactly you know. It's drivers is like, yeah, man, I play drivers all the time. That picture in picture. That's one of the most satisfying. It's never too late to look Nick is 64. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that really is. There's a, there's a lot of, you know, the shields cracking. And okay, that was too far, game, man. To be honest with you. But you can start to see exactly that what the thought process too is far. for Alliance now. I don't know. Really, really if an offer comes to hand chat, like I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't say no for sure. This is huge. And look at how TSM's playing, right? They kind of have like a triangle. I'm just saying, you know, like if a, t if a pro team really came to me and asked, hey, you want to compete together? I would think about who's on that team and I would really make the decision to put my full effort into it. I'm not, like, I think everyone knows me, like, they're gonna be keeping people think that like I won't, I wouldn't really try if I became a pro. So make sure like if I actually like, really like said like, hey, yeah, teams. I'll take it seriously. Sure that oh, I'll fucking put my fucking ass and like I'll, I'll work my ass off. In your sights, and that's what the thought process is here. And we all know that. Which I feel like is absolutely like shit. You've seen the shit I've done. Out of the fragment side, they avoid it. Do you mean a schedule? A schedule is scary. Oh yeah. When I when I wanted to do my challenge streams. And I had a schedule for those. Now Holy fuck! Them more though, up that was building. different. Like, dude, I think, best, I think my best, I think my best grind arc was when I was going for 10k damage. Like, that no was, dude. I swear, like, I played insane. I was always getting seven, 8k damage games, like every single fucking day. It, I, dude, it was scary. Now I can't even hit 4k. You changed mouse. I also did change mouse. You're right. But I don't think that would, I don't think that's really the problem. So I went from G Pro to Super Light, super light but I actually don't think that's the, right the difference. The is, what legend like would you play if you got offered to play? Uh, I can play any character except Gibby. I can legitimately play any character except Gibby. I can play Caustic. Like, I don't care playing a big guy. As well, this team's in a tough spot. Whoever's directly in front of them has to make their move. Meanwhile, that's going to be Fury. I don't think I'd be a good Gibby player, like actually. Their play. Uh, uh, I could like still. I could. I could. Like I've played Valk. We'll see exactly I've played Path. I've played Wraith. I've played. I played it all. And it may have to be somewhere that they don't like. I've I've played even I've I've, I've played um, a decent amount of uh, Mad Maggie too. Still trying to fight off the squad. It's not the same as the vicinity as well. Yeah, I kind of want to compete. A little poke out the window. He's gonna do a little uh, bit of damage. It's no, GMT don't. now here we're underneath the team we haven't spoken too much about. Shroud is joining Sentinels Valorant. This is fucking nutty. But why? Oh. 
Oh, shitty stick. Zero, zero? I like that number. I'm back, baby. I'm more of a T guy. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. Good time. That was it? I could love tens. Stop. Stop it. That was Jesus Christ. Okay. I heckin' love tens. So, so it's, he's actually joining. Oh, it's real, all right. So this is the second video. It's a three-minute video. Let's see. Is this so Sentinels can get views? I I would assume so. Yeah. I mean, like, what 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 what's the only what's the other purpose, right? Oh god, this is not a very attractive angle for him. I I just, I mean, they're not in a good spot right now. Isn't isn't Sentinels actually like not a great team at the current moment? Like they've been kind of slipping a little bit. I mean, this is good for Shroud. This is just good for Shroud. This is good for Sentinels, honestly. I mean, I would say it's not good for Sentinels, actually. Because at this moment, they're just, like, hiring a guy just to, you know, be a part of their content team, but for their team or something. I don't know. Some of the team is taking a mental break, so this is, like, a replacement, I guess. Yeah, it's good for Shroud. I would, I would say it's better for Shroud than it is for Sentinels, but... Because, I mean, it helps him out. Like, I, I played pro in Valorant and Counter-Strike, right? Like, why would he not take that opportunity? Hey, guys. I'm Shroud. And yes, I'm joining Sentinels and will be competing at the LCQ. Why Valorant is it? So he is competing. Tough one. I guess the honest answer is this whole thing was spur of the moment over dinner. Like, hey, spur of the Sentinel moment. A fifth. Do we throw your name in there? And I was like, absolutely. Like, I'm itching <laughs> to, I'm itching to try competing again and Valorant something new. Is and he? I want to see how I can fare against something that's new rather than going back to what I already know. I would say the main thing that speaks to me about Sentinels is the way they play. I feel like they remind me of my team in Counter-Strike, just like the style and I guess the it's idea. like a very PR-ridden video. But... That team and the way they play together just reminds me of kind of how we played. And I'd imagine... It's cool to see him compete again at the end of the day. Yet. I'm going to get to know them. Um, I'd imagine that even their personalities might resemble my, my experience in the past. So that that's the big one, you okay. know, how they play. I guess the main one, which is going to be a main question, is am I going to try? Of course I'm going to try. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not committing to this LCQ, like, half-ass. Like, I'm going to go to boot camp. I'm going to be playing Valorant every day. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm going to be watching watching demos. Not going to touch anything? Studying my team, mixing well, hopefully. Um, so the big one is I'm going to try my absolute best to not let anyone down my fans sentinel fans and i'm just gonna just give it my all you know so i will be attending the boot camp okay i will be there i will leave my house it's okay. gonna happen um but yeah that was that was right away when we when we were talking about this this thing that we were gonna do it was will i go to boot camp absolutely that is i mean how very, long is the tournament to catch me up in the whole process because i gotta i gotta fit right in at the fifth i gotta understand their strats i gotta understand how they play how they communicate and the best way of doing that is in person and it's the best way to speed up the whole process so yeah i'll be there we've talked briefly about the role the main role that i want to be is controller on most maps oh is there he smoking? is a world and where i might squeeze into another role if somebody else is comfortable on let's say viper um huh but mainly controller yeah my expectations from this are hopefully win you know i want to win the lcq uh and main one for me i guess on a personal level is to play well like i would hate to i would hate to put in all this effort and drop the ball i don't think i will but it would really suck it, it can happen you know it can i mean it there's just a possibility a matches and that that could that could be the end of it but i really really don't want that i want to i want to go all the way i want to take it through the lcq and then we'll see what happens after that i guess but <laughs> It's hard to pick. It's hard to pick one person that this I want to. This is so out of left field, man. Collab with, because I want to play with all of them, and I want to vibe with all of them. Of course, the obvious answer is going to be tens, because I heckin' love tens. And just <laughs> stop I, it. I really want to go. I want to go back on stage. That's the big one. I want to. I want to go back on stage. Stop it. Um, and and be be in front of a crowd again. <laughs> I feel like red's a good color on me. I, I like red. I I think it works. You know? It looks unique. I'm not. He, I mean, he, he missed his opportunity to join IY Power back in the day, you know? I mean, I, I would, I feel like I, I'm, I was, I'm somewhat, uh, what's it called? I feel like we can kind of touch on this a little bit. I want to see what, what is, who does Shroud, who does, who's the under? His own, his own, he's on his own brand, correct? 
So he's just on loan with them probably. I don't think he, I wonder if he's getting paid for it or something. I mean, more than anybody, I feel like I'm aware of Shroud's background. You know, I followed Counter-Strike in 2014, 2012, or not 2012, what the fuck, 2014 when he was on like Cloud9 and some of those old teams where he was just like a, a pug star that joined these teams. And it, he was he was good back in the day, but they never really, I don't know, they, they never really performed like that well. You know what I mean? Shroud and himself, like he had to step down from Counter-Strike because... I, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, like he wanted. I mean, yes, he had a massive stream career at the time, and he individually was still performing okay, but he was forced to change so many roles. If I remember right, like I think he went to like lurking. Um, he went to I don't even I think he, I don't think he tried IGLing, but he tried so many different roles, I believe, and it kind of ended up convoluted. And eventually, he was like, okay, when PUBG came out, all right, I'm going to switch to full time streaming, and that was a big deal for Shroud, and. Uh, yeah, like you said, I think there was, in the past, he said he didn't want to grind one game. Like, he's not really doing it for that long, to be honest. Like, let's be real. This is going to last, what, maybe a month? Like, how long is LCQ? A month, two months? Like, at the end of the day, that's really, like, a tiny sliver of his life. So, realistically, this is just perfect for Shroud. At, I mean, I think that the riskiest part is for Sentinels. I would assume they just don't give a fuck about this tournament. Sentinels is kind of in this weird spot where they have a lot of cushion in Valorant because they performed so well at the beginning of the game. They performed incredibly well for so long at the beginning of the game that they have this brand of, okay, this is a good team. And they've kind of built it up to such a massive, um, like they're just such a massive endemic org now where it's like, okay, we'll give them for some slack for playing poorly. Because realistically, like, you think, hey, why are they just not bringing on somebody that's good? I mean, I don't mean to be an asshole here, but Shroud's good. Like, Shroud's better than I would ever be in Valorant. However, comparing, comparing him to maybe, like, some 16-year-old, 17-year-old, 18-year-old kids in Valorant that have been grinding their ass off in that game and have been playing, like, incredibly, like, well, it is strange that they would hire Shroud. The only reason I see them doing this is just like, okay, we're just kind of, let's just have a meme tournament, right? Let's have a content tournament, which is totally fair. Honestly, it is totally fair. Like a lot of esports orgs, especially in Valorant, are probably not making much money. Like they have to fucking pay up millions of dollars for talent that doesn't really have like big streams or isn't bringing in a lot of fans. And they're just like really losing a lot of money. So because of that, it makes sense to bring in Shroud just for like a meme tournament or something just to boost the brand, boost Sentinel's brand, boost Shroud brand. I mean, this is just kind of speaks like a cash cow situation. Like with Shroud coming in and competing for Valorant, it's kind of like a like a big money show match in the UFC between like two like kind of washed up players that are like like, like imagine you have, I don't know, some really washed up talent but are really, really famous. You just bring him in just because why not, right? And that's not to say Shroud's incredibly washed up. Like, he's, I'm sure, somewhat decent at the game, but there's no way in fucking hell you're telling me this guy's better than, like, some 17-year-old, 18-year-old kids that have been grinding their ass off in Valorant. How good are Sentinels anyways? Let's see. Let's go look at the standings here. Let's go look at the rankings. Um, Yeah, Sentinels have kind of fallen off a cliff. Uh, have they fallen off a cliff? North American rankings. Sentinels are 13 currently. Oofy. They're on a five-loss streak. Yeah, they've been kind of shit in the bed. I believe he's filling Rockus' role, correct? Rockus was here temporarily for, um, for, who is it? I don't know. They've been mixing up the roster a bit because they've been kind of flopping. They, they've been kind of in a weird spot for the past few months. Um, so they're trying new things out, and they're like, fuck it, we're already losing anyways, I guess. Um, I mean, why not? Why not? They're not exactly a good team at the current moment. So, I don't see why you wouldn't do this. Except if you want to win. Like, this, you're not going to win with Shroud. Like, I'm going to be, like, I'd probably bet, I'm not going to bet a million dollars. I'd probably, I'd probably bet, I'd probably bet a couple hundred dollars that this team is not going to win, you know? Like, I, I'd probably bet a decent amount of money that this team's not going to win, you know? But, like, at the end of the day, this is fan service, right? And uh, it's like seeing Booba and anime. Shroud and Booba, one and the same, honestly.